Lucio 10 Life and Success Story. Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on. Lucio 10 is once a janitor, cleaning a factory of tobacco, who would have known, that little boy cleaning to send himself to school will one day include in the country's richest person alive. Lucio Tan's Early Years The Humble Beginnings of Lucio Tan's Success Story Lucio Tan's journey was not at all easy, he is born in China on July 17, 1934 in the province of Fujian. Lucio's family migrated in the Philippines when he was still very young. Lucio is the eldest of eight children of their parents, he belonged to a very poor family of Chinese immigrant. His father managed to try his luck here in the Philippines in hope of better fortune. He took up chemistry engineering in Far Eastern University but didn't able to finish to focus on his small scrap buy and sell business. Not long after, the scrap business didn't work out, he then moved into a tobacco factory and work as a janitor in the factory, because of young Lucio's hard work, he was promoted as a tobacco cook and eventually assigned to be a tobacco leaf dealer in Ilico's region. Birth of Fortune Tobacco The Start of Winning in Life Tan's exposure to tobacco processing became his key in opening his very own tobacco company he named Fortune Tobacco in 1966. The production process came very swift for him as his experience in the tobacco industry greatly contributed in the success of his own company. His introduction to an affordable cigarette brand called Hope Indeed made it very successful in no time. In just nearly 15 years, Fortune Tobacco leads the tobacco industry being the largest local manufacturer of cigarettes in the Philippines in 1980. Sweet Deal of Allied Bank Lucio Tan's closeness to then-President Ferdinand Marcos gained so much controversy. Critics says that Lucio were able to get what he wanted because of the power radius he shared with President Marcos. Then-government owned bankrupt General Bank and Trust Co., Gen Bank, was acquired by Tan for only PHP.500,000.00. Many says it was such a sweetheart deal for Lucio. The amount he paid for, for the acquisition of GenBank is relatively low compared to a regular company merging cost. The bank was later renamed as Allied Bank. The Rise of Asia Brewery In 1982, Lucio turned to opening Asia Brewery as his very close friend President Marcos lifted the ban on establishing liquor company in the country. Asia Brewery was able to stand along the competition between the then industry leader San Miguel Corporation. By withstanding the competition, Asia Brewery were able to develop innovative products that are openly patronized by the consumer not long after. Continued Success of Lucio Tan After the Marcos regime, Tan faces controversies about corruption and tax evasion but instead of stumbling down, Tan continued to grow as he acquired the government-owned airline Philippine Airline. He also acquired Tanjuai Holdings, Philippines National Bank, Macroasia Corporation, Eaton Properties, and University of the East. A Humble Man For those who have known Tan as their boss, they can only describe him as being a simple guy with an empire built in his hard work. His humiliation is very profound, he treats his employee with utmost respect and fairness. His kindness glows in his philanthropic works as he shares his gratitude with humility in helping others. Lucio Tan's story may just be another classic rags to riches story but his values and kindness makes him differ from the rest. Thank you for watching.